Leo, Leo, Leo. So Leo, this is going to be your 2021. What do I need to focus on reading? We're going to use major arcana and then we're going to go and see if we have any obstacles or problems, which I'm going to use Toshit Tarot to pull from that. And then we'll go into the goddess oracle to see if there's any messages with helping you navigate these changes. So with the major arcana, we're going to hit on points that you probably really need to focus in on this year. Because there's going to be things that may come up that you have to deal with. Now, if you, I always forget to say this, if you like this channel, you like the message, please like, share, subscribe. Let's get into it. Leo, Leo, what does 2021 uh, have for you? Well, God, dog, I ain't even that damn magician. Y'all can't get away from that damn magician to save our lives. Leo, 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 what do we have in for 2021? Y'all need to bury that bitch in the graveyard, pee on them, pour some, I don't know what, what else you could do with this magician. Now, of course, I'm just joking because it doesn't necessarily mean bad. A lot of this is manifestation. Leo, oh. Leo, Leo, Leo. Oh, that we had a whole book fall out. So let's see. Oh, oh, yeah, we got some spiritual stuff that's coming in. Okay. We had a lot of cards, but I'm going to go ahead and read. So the first one that we have is the Magician. And we have the Empress. And we have Judgment. We have the Hierophant. And then we have the chariot. So y'all may have some issues y'all have to deal with, but y'all gonna get in y'all new Corvette and be like, mm. you might not even be looking back, Leos. So the magician coming in. Normally when I look at the magician and a lot of positive cards are around the magician, this is about manifesting. This is about calling things into your life. This is about literally speaking things into existence. So for a lot of you, you may actually be practitioners, you may be an alchemist, you may be into mysticism, you may be some type of worker. If not, you may just be blessed with the gift of manifestation. Now, everybody can manifest, but I think some people are master manifestors, which means their thoughts, their words have power. So for a few of you this year, please be mindful of what you speak into your life. Be mindful of what you say, because for a lot of you, you're going to see a lot of these things come into uh fruition. They're going to materialize. Now, I'm getting that there is a lot of spiritual wisdom that's going to be coming your way, especially with the higher fonts. Some of you may be taking some classes. You may actually even be teaching some classes, but I feel like this is a sharing of knowledge, whether this is things coming down from spirit and coming into your download, your crown chakra, or whether your third eye opens up, I feel like there's going to be a lot of knowledge that's coming your way. And this could be meeting from a mentor, learning from someone. And few of you may even find yourself being led by spirit to share this knowledge that where you may be doing classes or you may be trying to teach somebody some things. So it's really a positive energy coming in. It's literally saying be, be open to the possibilities this year. Um, I feel like for some, this is a new phase for you where maybe you cut away some things. We did have judgment fall out. And judgment, a lot of times, I feel like is somebody feeling like there should be a fairness or something that's happening in a situation. This wasn't fair. This didn't work out the way I want it to work out. Or people may be throwing things on you that you feel like you don't have anything to do. And this is a general read. Some of you, you may have people that feel like, oh, you're throwing uh, bull crap on me that I have to deal with. But I feel like that there's going to be some guidance or some type of clarity that comes in this year. If there are issues with people wanting to put the blame on you. Some of you are going to be dealing with very narcissistic energy this year, whether this is you or someone else. But I just get this thing of, be mindful of the spirit messages that come in with this. You may be finding yourself in dramas or things that you really don't need to be in. Um, the higher font could be a mentor or someone that's coming in and saying, look, chill out, or let me show you a better way. This could be you even doing this with someone. I am getting some anger issues. So whether this is you or somebody else, some of you may find yourself in a position where 
you're trying to either learn to do something a little bit differently when it comes to your emotions, or you're trying to teach someone something a little bit differently when it comes to their emotions. There's a lot of spirit connection here. So some of you could be going into yoga. You could be going into meditation. You could be going into some things that maybe you haven't tried before because there's something that spirit is bringing to you. I do feel that you may deal with some judgment, um, coming in this year with people questioning why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you going in this direction? What does this mean? Are you capable of doing this? Are you qualified to do this? So some of you, even if you're teaching or you're putting yourself out there, you may have some people that question it. It's like, okay, are you, can you do this? Are you able to share? Or you may just have people looking at your life and going, okay, what are you doing? Don't get caught up in that energy, Leo. I feel like whatever it is, a lot of it may not be on you. Um, there is some narcissism your way, which means that some of you are kind of like, I am the shit. I am, you know, I do what I do. And, you know, these problems are your problems. So you got to be mindful with that. Sometimes with narcissism, we don't realize it. We don't see it in ourselves. Other people may see it in us. Will not apply to everyone. But for some, we may have to kind of say, you know what, let me take a step back and see where I stand with this realistically, um, which is kind of hard when you're in that energy because you don't want to see it. So for a few of you, you could be dealing with someone where it's like they're doing some things and you're like, they just don't see it. They don't get it. You know, they don't understand and they're making things harder. They're making things harder for themselves. They're making things harder for me. They're making things harder for people around. The Empress card is too, you could be dealing with somebody like this where you have children with them, whether you're a male or a female, somebody that just their perception on life is just making it a little bit rougher for you this year. Now, I will say the manifestation card or the magician card on top of judgment right here could be dealing with somebody who could be a little bit shady, sneaky. And we've been seeing this in your cards for a while. Some of you, I feel like you're coming to the end of this cycle with this person. I really do. I don't even feel like this energy is going to continue this year. If you're dealing with someone that is just really shady, sneaky, argumentative, um, narcissistic, nothing is ever their fault. A lot of you really are putting this to rest this year. It's like, I'm done with it. I just don't feel like this energy um, is something that I want to carry anymore. For a few of you, you may have some friends that walk away from you because they feel like this is your energy. So I will say, don't feel bad if something pull, if someone pulls away from you. It, it looks like it needs to happen, especially because we've been having this energy of this lack of communication or miscommunication with someone that just is not trying to get you or you're not trying to get them, there's no more to go. Where can you go with that? You don't want to hear what I have to say and I don't want to hear what you have to say. That's a wash. It's a done deal. So if you're dealing with that shady energy, I feel like a lot of you are going to be putting it to rest. Cut, clear, out, I'm done. Especially with that chariot. Mm -hmm. I'm driving off. I'm not looking back. And if you get in front of the car, I might run over you, bitch. I don't see you though. I don't see you though. Some of you are going to have that energy this year. If you got to walk away from something, do it in a... In, I, I don't want to tell you how to handle your business. Do it the way you feel like you need to do it, Leo. But Spirit is saying, for some of you, choose your battles wisely. Some of this is going to be just pettiness where it doesn't even deserve your energy. Just get in your car and just go. Just drive on by. Don't even look. You don't even see them. But for a few, some of you are going to have to pull the car over. You're going to get out. You're going to have a couple of more words with them before you slam your car door, back up on them, and then take off. Whatever it is that you feel like you need to do for disclosure, do it. Now, the Empress card is definitely showing giving birth to something. New ideas, babies, relationships, businesses, whether you're a male or a female, there's something that's coming in that's going to be very fertile for you, where that means there's a harvest. You're you're, you're giving birth to something. We got the wheat uh, stocks behind this empress. And this could be coming up with really, really great ideas. Um, she has something in her hand. And I'm not sure. We do have a shield. So I'm not sure if she's doing some type of art project. If she's creating some things differently. There's definitely creation of life. So if a few of you have been trying to have a baby, it looks like this may be your year. For some of you, this is really ideas, things that are coming in where it's like, I want to give birth to it and I want to watch it grow. This could be businesses, um, uh, self-employment, expanding businesses, projects at work, or whatever it is, you're putting a lot of energy into it because it's your baby. 
It's something that you want to see growing. It's like, I cannot let my baby fail. So don't be surprised this year if you're really focused in on money and focused in on business, especially if you're bringing something to life. A lot of you are like, I don't want to be distracted. And it could be why you're cutting away that other energy. It's like, I don't even want to deal with you anymore because I have other things that I need to do and I need to stay on point with it. The chariot card is you driving, you're moving forward. I'm moving on. I'm driving on to more positive things because I got my focus. I got things that I got to do. I don't have time for the bullshit. I don't have time for the drama. I don't have time for the distractions. I need to focus in on what I need to do. Some of you are going to still have a hard time breaking away from that drama. But remember, you are the magician. You can manifest things. Some of you are going to be seeing yourselves calling in things that you thought were impossible. And then you're seeing the fruition of them like, oh my God, this is really happening. This is coming to me. So the chariot card is showing you moving towards something that's positive. And we got a two strong, powerful horses on either side of you. You have your shield up and you have your sword. You're not going to be cut down with bullshit this year. I mean, well, I guess you could drive, yeah, and then have your sword in your other hand. That's the way I would do it. So I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you're doing. I'm focused on my goal. I'm focused on where I need to be. Anything that gets in front of me, you're going to get blocked. You're going to get cut down. Some of you are going to have some people that may judge you for that. You know, you're hard this year. You're not soft and fuzzy like you used to be. You know, you're not as nice as you used to be. Sometimes we have to elevate. We have to grow. We have to kind of become that transition comes in where spirit is like, you need to be more assertive. You need to be more mindful or you need to be more conscious, wherever that is for you. I feel like that's where you're getting and you're really not letting something hold you back because you know that that's where you're supposed to be. Now, let's look at the obstacles that you may be you know, swish, swish, swish in and out the way. We got Tough Shit Tarot. Tough Shit Tarot. Leo, Leo, Leo. Tough Shit Tarot. Leo. What obstacle spirit may they encounter this year? Leo, what obstacles may they encounter? All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay. And one more spirit. Let's see. All right. Some of you, you may get caught up in some gossip. He said, she said, well, you know, that's that distraction. Some of you may get caught up where you're in some drama you didn't want to be put into. And it's he said, she said, she, she, what, he, he, what. Spirit is saying, if you don't have to be in it, don't get into it, close it off, cut it away. Some of you have been in this energy for a while, and it's like it's not anything productive for you. I will say be careful of screenshots, recordings, and things like that this year, because there seems to be a lot of play back and forth with some people where it's like, I want to catch you in something. Um, Spirit is saying... There could be jealousies where people are setting you up or you're setting other people up because of jealousies and envy. So be careful with who you share things with this year because there may be people that are actually not on your side, especially if you have somebody that is gossiping about a lot of other people and you know that some of the things that they're saying are not true. you got to be mindful that they're not going back and, and padding stories that are about you. I mean, people are going to talk. But, you know, my thing is, if I'm going to talk, I'm going to tell you the truth. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's not very truthful. We also have to, some of you have to work about with your emotions and feelings when things don't go your way. Like, I want it to be my way. I'm going to get it my way, but it doesn't go my way. So now I'm not talking to you. Fuck off. Y'all go jump off a cliff. Be really careful that you're not throwing these tantrums, these, these grown people tantrums, where people are kind of like, I don't know how to deal with you. Some of you could be dealing with adults that are like this and you're spending too much energy trying to, you know, fix them or correct them. If they're still, if they're, you know, over 19 and they're falling on the floor and crying and, you know, look at me, look at me, look at me. They need some help. They need therapy. It may be more than what you can put into it. Be careful that you're not hitching your horse to the wrong wagon, especially one that's really damaged or mentally unstable this year. All right, we get a lot of excuses. I want to do it. I should do it, but let me wait. Let this, let's let the moon align right. The stars have to be perfect, and then it never happens. Spirit is like you're wasting energy on things that could have, should have, would have been. Deal with the present. If you're dealing with obstacles, uh, things not moving ahead, it could be because you're fixated on something, waiting for it to change, and it's not going to change. I also see, too, watch your diet. Some of you are getting in emotions in your eating. It's like, you know, I feel a certain way, so let me have this cookie. Let me drink this soda. I'm getting something where there could be um, 
something where spirit is like in overindulgence, whether this is food, pop, soda, what did I call it? Pop. Some of you might call it pop because we don't even call it pop. But some of you could be drinking soda, some of you could be drinking more wine. Just make sure that it's in a way that it's not detrimental to your body. Um, I feel like that there could be some overindulgence and it's because of emotions. You may not be speaking your truth. So if you're holding it in or a Leo that literally is biting their tongue and it's like, I'm not saying what I need to say. Some of you need to figure out another way to release this besides, you know, internalizing and eating and drinking it away. Well, that's going to make me feel better. You're self-medicating and it's in an uh, unhealthy way, spirit is saying. So be really careful with that. If there's something that you need to see, you might need to get a mediator, maybe some type of couples counseling, family counseling, where you can get it out. Um, so you're not internalizing and using food or other um, substances to self-medicate you. Now, let's look at the goddess cards and see what the goddess has for you. Let's see. Goddess messages for Leo. Goddess messages for Leo. I keep getting something with a miracle, and I think it has to do with a baby. So if you've been having issues with fertility, it looks like there may be a blessing that's going to be coming for you this year. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, let's see what we have. All righty. So the first thing is undying love. For some of you, this is courting the, cutting the cords with someone, but still having some emotional attachment. Um, it's saying the love you shared is eternal regardless of the situation, which means that for a few, if you're losing a family member, a familiar, a friend, whether this is through transition or, you know, the ending of a cycle with a friendship, spirit is saying that regardless of the emotions, you still care for this person. You still love this person. Don't fight that. Don't feel like you have to cut completely off with this person because of something that happened in the past or you lost them because that energy is still there. It is showing that regardless of how this person is acting, there's still love there for you too. So whether you lost someone and you feel like they're gone, I'm never going to see them again, it's showing that that connection has not been severed. If some of you fell out with a friendship or in a relationship, there's still some emotional ties, which means even if you're cursing each other out, there's still some type of love or underlying love that's still there that is not going anywhere. And a few of you may have to deal with that this year. For some of us, this is going to be beautiful. I mean, especially if we've lost people, it's like, I need to know that that's not going to be severed. We also have start delegating. Stop trying to do everything by yourself. Stop trying to do every project. You don't want other people's hands in it. I can do it. I can take care of it. Spirit is showing it's detrimental to your health. Some of you are tired. They're like, ask us. Spirit is like, come to us. Let us know what you need so we can come in and intercede or bring people into your life that will help you. And don't push these people away, especially if they're being brought there by spirit. Some of you, spirit is like, don't take on too much. Easy does it. There's no hurry for things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect time. Some of you are working yourselves to death or pushing something, um, and it's almost, it seems like it's draining you. So be really careful that even though you're focused on your goal this year, that you're not doing something that is detrimental to your health, whether this is your mental, spiritual, or physical health. This is like literally needing to take a step back and get yourself in some type of schedule some type of routine where you're taking a break, you're getting rest, you're going back and you're working. But it's showing that for a few of you that you're focused on something, but it may be too much. So be really careful that you're not obsessed with something and you're not taking care of yourself. Awaken the goddess in you. It's time to have some fun, Leo. Time to dance, time to listen to some music, bust a move, twerk in the mirror, go outside, sing a song, dance. Some of you are work home, work home, work home. You're not enjoying yourselves. You're not bringing in the playfulness in. You're not really expressing the goddess energy that you have. It will show that you're going to be surprised that for a lot of you, when you start doing these things, you feel your energy rising. You feel your happiness coming in. You feel things feeling like they're falling into place. Whether you're a male or a female, you have goddess energy. So if this is something where it's like, I'm so focused on this, I can't play with my kids, I can't go to the beach, I can't take this time out to refresh myself, 
you're going to do yourself in. The goddesses are saying, let's have some fun. Let's play. Let's turn some music on. Let's boogie, oogie, oogie. Let's do something that makes us feel good, that brings our vibrations up. Because if you don't, some of you are going to find yourself then getting sick. Your physical body is going to give away on you. You're going to start getting these aches and pains. So make sure you balance that energy this year, Leo. All right, my loves. Bye.